Hello guys, welcome to the chapter Setting up your Pinterest account. In this lesson, we're going to talk about setting up your Pinterest personal account. Let's get started. From the previous lessons, I have mentioned that before creating a Pinterest account, you must determine what your goal is for using Pinterest. You can always start with a personal account if you're still figuring out what your plan is. Then you can start creating boards and adding pins to it. Then look for topics in a niche-related market to explore the pins that people share on Pinterest. Then start browsing Pinterest and see the features of the platform. It's so easy to create a personal account on Pinterest. Just visit Pinterest.com and you can scroll down below to see the section where you can sign up for a new account. Or you can just click on the sign up button instead. There are three ways for you to sign up with a personal Pinterest account. First with an email address and your password. In this section, you can input any email address that is not your Gmail account. Then provide a password and input your age here. Then click Continue. Now you'll see a welcome message from Pinterest. Click Next to tell Pinterest what topics you are interested in. You can specify your gender or specify another gender that you prefer. Then click Next. Pick your language and country. Then click Next. This last step is where you can choose multiple topics that you are interested in. You can pick five or more. You may notice that once you pick a topic, the home feed is starting to show pins from the topics that you have clicked on. You can also uncheck topics here if you prefer not to see pins from that topic. Click Done. As you can see, Pinterest is preparing your home feed for you depending on the topics that you have chosen. If this is the first time you are seeing your home feed, all of these pins are from the topics related to what you have chosen earlier. You'll be able to see a brief instruction here on how to get the most out of Pinterest. Just click a pin you like, save it, then also get the mobile app, so you can use it on your mobile device. It shows you that the ideas in your feed are based on these topics. If you want to add more topics, just click this plus icon to add more topics for more pins related to it. Next, set up your profile. Go to your profile and you can see that our profile is still empty. When you click on this down arrow, you have the options here that allow you to add another account or add a free business account. You can actually have multiple Pinterest accounts. Now click settings. You can edit your profile here, including your first name and last name. Your username that is set here is a random alphanumeric character. Your username is important, so set a username for your personal brand. As you can see in this section, you will have your own Pinterest URL with your username. You can share it if your URL is relevant, so you must change this to refer to your personal account. Then start writing a little about yourself in this text box, then click Done. Another way for you to sign up on a personal account on Pinterest is to use the option Continue with Google. It's a good idea to make sure that this Google account that you will use for Pinterest is only intended for your Pinterest profile. This will prevent you from losing your other social media accounts if ever your account gets hacked or you can't access it. Another way for you to sign up on Pinterest is to use your Facebook login. You can use your Facebook with your Pinterest account you can connect your Facebook with your Pinterest account with the same credentials you have used on your Facebook profile to log into your Pinterest account. This option allows you to log into your Pinterest account faster. It is convenient, but your account is not safe too. If someone gets access to your Facebook account, then automatically they can get access to your Pinterest account too. The safest way to create a Pinterest account is to use an independent account that is intended only for Pinterest. Now that you have a Pinterest personal account, the next step you should do is find ideas for pins that you can save in your profile. Now that you know how to set up your Pinterest personal account, we can now proceed to the next topic, setting up your Pinterest business account. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.